pyramid-shaped fountain nearby. But when you go to another side of the pyramid, you can see the gateway to the inside. At this point, I was still feeling pretty good because this pyramid is a part of the Rosicrucian church and churches are normally safe places to hang out. But as I went near it, I saw the sign on top of the gate. It has a skull with two bones below it, which is clearly a symbol of danger. And it is sitting on top of the globe with wings. And below it, you can see the word try, as though it is daring you to step inside the pyramid. As soon as I saw this, my attitude instantly changed and I was spooked because you don't expect to see something like this inside church premises. Notice that there is an anchor on the left symbolizing underworld because anchors always go down and a torch on the right symbolizing higher world because flames always go up. Now this is what you see inside the pyramid. You can see a very small room probably about three feet wide and five feet long. But can you tell what is really weird about this room? If you want, you can pause the video and try to find out the secret that is right in front of you. If you're not distracted by the plaques hanging on the wall, you will notice the screws on the walls. Have you ever seen screws on marble tiles? These screws are holding the tiles of this fake wall and if you remove them, there would be a much larger chamber inside. There should be no other reason to have these screws on the walls. This is confirmed when you take another look at the entire pyramid. The pyramid is about 50 feet wide on all four sides and about 30 feet tall. There is no reason to build such a large pyramid to have a room that is only 3 feet wide. The secret chamber that is behind this wall could be easily over 40 feet wide and may even have multiple levels. This is further reinforced by this plaque hanging on the fake wall. Notice how it shows the pyramid with an oval shaped chamber that is as tall as the pyramid itself. If you look carefully, you can see two levels in the chamber. I apologize for not taking a better picture because I panicked after seeing the skull symbol and wanted to get out without getting into trouble. On the first level of the chamber, you can see a strange figure that does not look human at all. And on the next level, there is an empty room with a circular opening carved on it. There is also something carved under the pyramid so it is possible that there is an underground area as well. Let's take a look at the other signs hanging on the fake wall. On the bottom of this plaque, it says Novus Ordo Seclorum, which is Latin for New Order of the Ages, or more popularly called the New World Order. Above this is a pyramid with a broken top replaced by an eye that is watching you. On the top, we can see the phrase Annuit Septis, which means he approves of the undertakings. This is a very mysterious phrase because we don't really know who approves of the undertakings. If you want to get a better look at this sign, just open your wallet and pull out a dollar bill. This is the exact sign that you will find on the dollar bill and many people say the dollar bill itself was created by the Illuminati to create a new world order. The other plaque has an eagle that is also found on the dollar bill. These pyramids belong to a secret society called Rosicrucian founded in 1420 so they've been operating for about 600 years now. 
these pyramids are estimated to be more than 200 years old and locals believe that these are portals or wormholes to contact other world beings. Of course, the members of Rosicrucian are sworn to secrecy so they never talk about the pyramids to anybody. Now, this is not the only pyramid here and there are at least three more pyramids in the same area. The other pyramids could have the missing pieces to the puzzle. For example, the other pyramids would have other words that would finish the sentence that starts with try and there must be different plaques inside the other pyramids that would also point to something very substantial. By the way, I don't recommend that you visit this place because I think it is very dangerous. I myself got incredibly lucky that nobody saw me and I went in there with a naive sense of security expecting to see Jesus on a cross and not 